friends here at home and across the seas. We in America have constantly pledged that we will never commit aggression, but we must always be prepared to defeat it. On May 21st, the Armed Forces of the United States will hold open house to give our own and other peace-loving peoples the best possible opportunity to see how ready we are in military terms for any threat to our security or to the peace of the free world. As Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the United States, I earnestly hope that all who can will accept this invitation to become better acquainted with the armed components of our national power for peace. Air Force Base, home of the 15th Air Force Strategic Air Command near Riverside, California, the Colgate Palmolive Company salutes Armed Forces Week. Here in this mighty military panorama are the men, women, and weapons representative of the United States Armed Forces determination to keep secure our American way of life of Uncle Sam's dedication to the policy of power for peace. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight X equals several hundred. At this moment, X number of miles to the east of March Air Force Base, a streak of jet lightning called the F-100, holders of the world's speed record. The first jet fighter able to cruise straight and level at the speed of sound is waiting to take off from Davis Fontan Air Force Base, Tucson, Arizona. Objective, to arrive here at March at approximately the halfway mark in the Colgate Comedy Hour. Through Flight Service Center, we switch you now to one of our nation's outstanding jet aces, Colonel Maury Long. Come in, Colonel Long. This is Colonel Maury Long at Tucson. Hello, March Air Force Base and Colgate Comedy Hour. This aircraft checks out perfectly. Hello, Tucson Tower. This is Jackpot 1 2. Am I clear to roll? Jackpot 1 2. This is Tucson Tower. You're cleared for takeoff. Over. Hello, Roger. Jackpot 1 2. Rolling. display in tribute to the armed forces in cooperation with the Department of Defense. The Marine Helicopters Aircraft Fleet Marine Force Pacific El Toro, California, and the Hela teams from Marine Test Unit 1 Camp Pendleton, California. The Marines have landed. And just in the nick of time, because here she comes, fellas, the loveliest gal that ever hitchhiked a ride in a Jeep. Hollywood's dynamic bundle of red-haired beauty and talent, the Queen of Armed Forces Week, Rhonda Fleming. there. 
<laughs> Woo! You're all set for a great show, I know. Boy, what a wonderful audience. And what a wonderful bass. Gee, would I love to be stationed here. <laughs> no, but you know, I really mean it. I can't tell you how really very proud I am to meet all of you men and women today in this audience. We who value our precious freedom should take this opportunity to say thanks to you and to the millions of men and women just like you who do so much to keep our precious freedom alive. Well, sir, I'm having a great thrill just being here. And now, let's all get set for a big musical thrill. Ladies and gentlemen, the singing sergeants of the United States Air Force Band and your singing host of the Colgate Comedy Hour, that handsome ex-Air Force man, Gordon McRae. Thank you, boys. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you've got nice weather for your song. Well, we certainly have, and I know you're mighty proud to be the queen of Armed Forces Week, mm, Rhonda. I certainly am. But they tell me you have a lot of work to do, so why don't you sit down while I get things started vocally around you're here? You're right. <laughs> Come back real soon. Maestro, a downbeat if you please. Blue sky smiling at me. Nothing but blue sky. Do I see bluebirds singing a song? Nothing but bluebirds all day long. I never saw the sun shining so bright. I never saw things going so right. Noticing the days hurrying by. When you're in love, oh my, how they fly. Blue days, all of them gone. There's nothing but blue skies from now on. Never saw the sun shining so bright. I never saw things going so right. Noticing the days hurrying by. Oh, when you're in love, my, how they fly. Blue days, all of them gone. But blue skies, oh, bright skies. Yes, blue skies from now on. There's a great day coming on with a wonderful, wonderful dream. Everybody will we'll be rolling in gold. We'll be out of the doldrums manana. There'll be cheese and pretzels manana. There'll be strawberries floating in cream. We'll be singing a strain of a happy refrain. Or we're launching a rainbow manana. There'll be high times, high in the sky times. Come on, you mourners, and make your fun. There's a great day coming manana. If manana. Ladies and gentlemen, the Clark Brothers.
Thank you very much, the Clark Brothers. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's a song dedicated to Colonel Maury Long, who is somewhere, should be right about now, over the Colorado River, nudging his super jet and F-100 up against the sound barrier. And uh, to Colonel Long and all his colleagues in all branches of the service, we uh, tonight have our own supersonic uh, sort of a young lady. And so, without further ado from us to you, we'd like to introduce her to you right now. Say hello to Miss Jana Mason. And here she is. I am just a weary pilgrim. Marching in, oh, when the saints come marching in, when the saints come marching in, oh, I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. I want to join the heavenly band, want to join the heavenly band, when I hear the trumpet blowing, when the saints come marching in. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Marching in, ride trumpet ride, ride trumpet ride, oh ride trumpet ride. When the saints go marching in, I wanna wear a happy smile, wanna wear a happy smile, wanna sing and shout hallelujah when the saints go marching in. Peter at the Golden Gate, he looked at me and said, do you rate? Oh, St. Pete ain't no fool, looked at me and talked real cool. Says, uh, are you ready, ready for the judgment day? Says, uh, are you steady, heading for the law today? I pleaded with Pete to give me a break, I'll sin no more for heaven's sake. I knew from the start I played it wrong, but the spirit was weak and the passion strong. Please, St. Pete, lighten my load, let me walk on the glory road. Wanna shout, wanna yell, just ain't ready to go to, wanna see those pearly gates, wanna see those pearly gates, wanna see the gates down and open when the saints count marching in. Any of you gentlemen happen to remember me? Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. I just checked flight service, and Colonel Long in the F-100 is at over 45,000 feet. And flying so fast, he just passed Superman. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet some of America's most important women, the WAFs of the United States Air Force. Hey, hey, where? 
Where's the sergeant, I wonder? Uh, he's probably at the mess hall, chowing down. He's always eating that yeah. guy. I don't know why they keep him in the surf. Hey, Jiggles is a sergeant! Where it? <laughs> now, what were you going to say? I mean, after all, be here on time like us. You yes. keep quiet. <laughs> all right, Marx. After all, if keep, we... your, keep your mouth shut. Attention. What are you, a tough guy? Keep... <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. What are you, a tough guy? Yes, I'm a tough guy. Just wanted to find out. All right. <laughs> Count off. One, two, three. Bingo. <laughs> Pick up your brains. <laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Repeat that. I'm talking to myself. Well, <laughs> don't talk so loud. Well, I gotta hear what I gotta say. Shut up! Put it down. Come on. Get your chin up, your chest out. Come on, you too. Get, get, get up. Get your chin up, your chest out. Chin up, chest out. All right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy, boy. Get your chin oh, yeah. up. Get your chest out. Come on. Get your chest out. Throw it out. Throw it out. Throw it out! What do you want me to do? Lay it on the floor? Now, listen. Do as I tell you. Throw it out! Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Too scared, I... All right, wrist them in luck. This is not your chest. This is your tummy. This is your chest. This is your tummy. This is your chest. This is your tummy, and this is your chest. This is your tummy, and this is your chest. This is your tummy, this is your chest. How do you understand? I think he likes me. <laughs> Come on, Attention. Hey, Schaller. Medals are paratroops. Paratroops? Yeah. What'd you get that one for? I got that for jumping out of the plane. Oh, that's good. What'd you get this one for? Jumping back. I mean, I thought. Put it down. Right. Shoulder. Arm. I said right shoulder arm, that's your left shoulder? I'm left-handed. Hey. <laughs> Get it over on your right shoulder. I shoot better on the side. I said get it over on your right shoulder. I like it better over there. Put it over there. Put it over there. Put it over there. Put it over there. What did you do as you're told? Do as I told. I want to do... If you want to do this, you got to do that. If you want to do that, you got to do this. I got to go to bed so early night. What's the difference? And in the morning, a guy comes along. Ta-da, 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 ta-da! <laughs> Why did you join this man's army? I didn't, I didn't join. They sent me a card and said, you better come and we'll come and get you. <laughs> no. They came and got me. Oh. I closed the doors. I closed the windows. I got caught in the draft. Never mind. <laughs> right. Face. <Hey>. Come <laughs> Why don't you turn with the rest? Come on, never mind that. Come in. Just a minute. You know those guns cost money. 
Well, get up in line, then. Turn with the rest of them. He <laughs> hit me. I'll hit you. <laughs> right. Face. this way, and you turn up. That's it. Now we're right. All right. Thanks for that. Now give me that. Right, face. Right, face. Forward, march. That's the boy. Hold. Hold. Where you going? Hey. The army is over here. The army is over here. <laughs> Colonel Long in the F-100. What is your position and speed, Colonel? Did you hear me, Colonel? Hello? Ronda Fleming calling Colonel Long in the F-100. What is your position and speed, Colonel? Colonel Long? Well, Gordon McRae has a wonderful song for a beautiful evening. <laughs> Gordy. Well, I will dedicate to this to the Colonel and wish him all sorts of good luck. This is the night. It's a beautiful night. And we call it Bellinote. Look at the skies, there are stars in the skies on this lovely Bellinate. So take the love of your loved one, you'll need it about this time to keep from falling like a star. When you make that dizzy climb For this is the night And the heavens are up
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the utmost in timing and precision, both on land and way up yonder in the wild blue. First of all, I'd like you to meet the gentleman on my left. This is Lieutenant Robert Lede, representing the champion drilling team from the 6th Army Headquarters in San Francisco, the Presidio, and their name is the Presidians. And over here on my right, I have from Luke Air Force Base, none other than a good friend of mine from my hometown, Syracuse, New York, Captain Jack Davis, who represents that ace acrobatic air team, the Thunderbirds. And believe me, they are wonderful. As a matter of fact, they are the official uh, United States Air Force acrobatic team. And uh, in a few seconds, I'm going to be talking, believe it or not, to their commander, Captain Jack Broughton, who is somewhere up there aloft. And, uh, well, now, wait a minute. I see you don't believe me. Well, all right, you just watch this. Captain Broughton, this is Gordon McRae down here on the floor here with March Field. And uh, we'd like you to have us say a few words and tell us, folks, what you're going to do. Come in. Hi, Roger, Gordon. Uh, we're getting ready to come in now, just about ready to turn our smoke on. Uh, we're going to do barrel roll for you first thing. Well, we'll be, we'll be ready for you. I told you it was right. So I'll keep my earplugs in, uh, Captain. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate in timing and precision, we present the Presidians. And Captain Robert Lede will tell you what they're about to do. Here they come now, all dressed up. Never saw a smarter looking group than that. You ought to be proud of those fellas, Lieutenant. Did I raise your rank? Hello, Gordon. This is Thunderbird Lead. I'm about 30 seconds out right now for barrel roll. We're waiting for you, Captain. Come in anytime you're ready. All right, I think they're coming in from this direction, ladies and Thunder gentlemen. Thunderbirds, slope. Captain's now. giving the orders. Nose coming up. Boy, this is really exciting. And rolling. And there they are. Look at that roll. Captain Davis, could you tell us, for instance, how fast they were going when they did that maneuver? Well, yes, Gordon. The maneuver such as that, a roll with smoke in the diamond formation, will be covered at a speed from 500 to 600 miles an hour. Oh, that's amazing. Now, Lieutenant Lede, what are our boys doing over here? The Cityans have just finished the uh, present arms. They are now, now doing the rib tickler with the bayonets at salute arm. Say, uh, you told me an interesting thing about those those rifles yesterday, Lieutenant. Uh, are they light rifles or are they legitimate rifles? This is the Springfield 03. It's nine and three quarter pound rifle with a fixed bayonet. It's 10 and a half pounds. They are real bayonets. Pounds. Real bayonets? Yes, sir. Oh, so you can see why everybody has to be precise. Well, now, what do you suppose the boys aloft are going to do, Captain, next for us? Well, they'll be coming back in, Gordon, and executing a changeover, or corkscrew roll, as we there call it. There Gordon, we're about 20 seconds out. There's Captain Broughton now. He's 20 seconds out from a trail formation. They'll pull up into a roll and change into the diamond formation while on their back. Bird slope there he is now. now. And I want to tell no, you, they're uh, a little bumpy up there today. Isn't it? Those boys are tremendous. Here they come over this direction. They're heading east now. And rolling. And there they go into the diamond, Gordon. Sort of makes you feel proud, doesn't it? How about that? You know, aside from the rifles over here, uh, Lieutenant, you told me yesterday that the folks would like to know something about the... Uh, the helmets these boys are wearing, are they, are they light helmets or are they uh, uh, legitimate army helmets? It's a regulation steel pot with a chrome finish. It's, it's fairly heavy. I guess it is. How long did it take these boys to get together and act uh, like they do? Well, we don't keep them very long, Gordon. <laughs> They'll probably be with us not more than six months. Well, they certainly have done a wonderful job. Well, I wonder what uh, Captain Broughton has in mind there. 
Captain well, Davis. We've got a tight 360 degree turn coming up, Gordon. The team will execute it at minimum altitude at a speed of around 500 miles an hour within a radius of about one mile. You'll see it coming up. Captain Broughton, are you ready to come in, sir? Roger, Gordon. We're about 20 seconds out now. Uh, we're going to do a vertical 360 degree turn for you now. We'll be waiting for you. Thunderbird smoke on and rolling in. Adding power. Uh, this, I understand, is one of the most difficult of maneuvers. Yes, this is one of the most difficult maneuvers, Gordon. All the way around the entire turn, each pilot is pulling against four times his own weight and four times the weight of his aircraft, or four Gs, four times the force of gravity. Of course, the top man tends to slide down into the formation and the right wing man to drop out and away towards the ground. They're finishing this tight 360 degree turn within a radius of one mile. And in an F-84F, as we are flying a supersonic type aircraft, believe me, out. that's really pulling. Here they are, slow. they're rolling out again. Captain today we'd like to thank you for the wonderful job the Presidians did today. Thunderbirds full Thanks speed break coming. now and back to the left. Now the Thunderbirds are ready to go into their last uh, trick. And uh, Captain Davis, uh, suppose you tell us who's piloting those planes, if I know the people would like to, to know who's up there with Captain Broughton. Glad to do it, Gordon. Uh, leading the Thunderbird team is Captain Jack M. Broughton from Rochester, New York. The number two man on the left wing is Captain James W. Matthews of Hammond, Louisiana. On the right wing, flying the number three position is Captain Bill Creech of the Minister of Iowa. And in the slot, or number four position at the tail end of the diamond, is Captain Ed Palmgren from Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. They've just finished their turnaround. Captain Broughton is approximately 20 seconds out at this minute. And they'll be coming back in for a tactical approach, that is to pitch up from the deck for landing. And while in the diamond, those wingtips are just six feet apart, so watch them break up with their smoke from the diamond formation. Here they are over there, right by the tower. Thunderbirds, breaking. Isn't that magnificent? How about a nice hand for both these wonderful precision teams on the ground and in the air? Everything all right up there, Captain Broughton? Thank you both, you wonderful gentlemen. Thank you, Bert. We'll see you. Right. 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 Wasn't that fabulous? <laughs> Well, it seems we were unable to establish radio contact with Colonel Long and the F-100, so we'll try again. Rhonda Fleming to Colonel Long and the F-100. Do you read me, Colonel? Over. Hello, Miss Fleming. It's Colonel Long. Over. What is your position now, Colonel? Jackpot controller. This is Jackpot 1-2. Over. What is your position now, Colonel? Over. I am just about over Hammett. Over. No. Colonel, how long will you will it take to reach Mark Air Base? <laughs> Approximately one minute. Over. <laughs> well, now we give you Gordon McRae. Start our pipers there. That's my clan over there. You... Putman.
on the inside. Thirty seconds now, Paul Garrett. Thirty seconds out. 20, 19, 18, 16, 15. He might be coming in. Here he comes. 750 miles an hour, I believe he'll make this pass at. I'm over a little bit. Here he comes now. Way up high, is he in a dive? Negative. Here he comes. He won't be way up high. Wasn't that tremendous? <laughs> Captain Long, ladies and gentlemen, in an F-100. That speed, he almost blew us right out of uh, March Field into Riverside and over to Cucamonda. <laughs> and I want to tell you something, you know, that sort of brings a, a memo to my mind for any of you young lads out there in the television world who are thinking of enlisting, you couldn't, uh, you couldn't find a better career. There's lots of lads here that'll prove it. Now you take that from an ex-navigator, an aging ex-navigator. There's lots of wonderful moments to be had in the armed services, believe me. Speaking of wonderful moments, here's our love, lovely songstress, Miss Jana Mason again. Jana, are you ready? Here she is. Because I wasn't wise, I'll stop my scheming and dreaming. Cause I really your, your lips tell me no, no. But there's yes, yes in your eyes. You tend to lie. But without doubt, I have found out. I wasn't wise I'll stop my scheming and dreaming and trying and trying Cause I realize Your lips tell me No, no, but there's yes, yes In your From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. For many decades, the glory of the United States Marine Corps has inspired our own people and become a symbol to all the peoples of the world of our determination to preserve our liberty no matter the cost. 
From the great plains of Kansas and Nebraska to the boiling jungles of the South Pacific Islands. From the sun-kissed south and west to the screaming winter winds of the Arctic. The boundaries of our freedom are no longer San Francisco on the west and New York on the east. The boundary lines are wherever aggression threatens the American way of life. And wherever the flame bursts, there you will find the United States Marine, an American worthy of the epitaph of George Washington. First in war, first in peace, first in the hearts of his country. shores of Tripoli. We fight our country's battles on the land as on the sea. First to fight for right and freedom and to keep our honor clean. We are proud to claim the title of United States country. Tis of thee, sweet land of liberty. I wonder how many tiny folks long about this 4th of July would be alive to say those words if it wasn't for the United States Army. How long is our memory? Do we still remember June 6th, 1944? Do we still remember North Africa? We still remember the agony of Salerno. Do we still say a prayer for all the young men who have kept up the installments on America's contract with freedom? In our generation, war has so often been the price of peace. War fought in the air and on the sea and on foot, especially on foot. To you in the uniform of the United States Army, we salute you, sir. Navy, Columbia's mighty gem of the ocean, the roving force ready on a moment's notice to give the one-two punch to Uncle Sam's policy of power for peace, the United States Navy, a network of airports on the high seas, with power to strike not only on and above the waves, but below. Down through the years, small boys have dreamed of the day when they would be part of the team of a great fighting ship. And with a grin on their faces and a lump in their throat, wave a proud goodbye to their loved ones. Air Force, man for man and plane for plane, the greatest in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, during Colgate Comedy Hour's salute to Armed Forces Week, 
in Armed Forces Day and this coming May 21st, you've seen our finest jets in action. But now, fasten your safety belts as tight as you can fasten them, because you're about to see an ATO, or an assisted takeoff. That was it. An assisted takeoff of one of the most important flying weapons in the whole world. The B-47, which is doing its part in aiding America's policy, power for a peace. big moment. A couple of minutes ago, Colonel Long in the F-100 buzzed the comedy hour at 700 miles plus, and at that tremendous speed, he looped back over Riverside, California toward Los Angeles, and came in for his landing, and now here he is, Colonel Long. Right over there. <laughs> Say, if that's the case, I should have flown in with you, Colonel. <laughs> Enjoyed having you, Gordon. Well, listen, are you going to stay around with us for a while, or what no. are you going to do now? No, i got to get back to George. I anticipated this, and I took the tube out of the old lady's television. Oh, <laughs> tell me, Colonel. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. How does it feel to fly over 700 miles an hour? Well, uh, thrill-wise, it compares pretty favorably with a Ronda Fleming kiss, I'd say. Well, <laughs> well, you certainly gave us all a thrill here oh, today, yes, Colonel. Yes. And everything came in all right. You're, we just couldn't believe it when you came over. And it's been a wonderful day, as a matter of fact. And it's been a privilege to have entertained all these fine gentlemen here and young ladies. And I know, once again, Rhonda was proud to have been chosen queen. I certainly was, and thanks to the armed forces for a very memorable day. And thanks to all of you, and uh, we'll be seeing you uh, next Sunday evening. We're, oh, Colonel, button? I forgot one thing. I'd like you to meet some people that you said you wanted to meet yesterday. The zany clowns, Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Where are the boys? <laughs> there they are, Bud. <laughs> Colonel Long. Colonel, a magnificent trip. Really great. That was some flying. And, uh, Rodney, wonderful job. Thank you. Well, I thought everybody did a very nice job. Yeah, you too, is. Gordon. Colonel, we'll see and you Bud next time, boys. Good night, wonderful. and God bless you all. Good night. Bless you all. Good night, everybody in Patterson.